it just dawned on me that it was my fault. It was my fault in the sense that I asked the wrong question. What do you want? You know, asking a child this question, what do you want? is such a big question for a child to answer. At the point I realized it was my fault. Guess what I did? I went back, made her Cocoa Pops, gave it to her. She ate everything all of. Hello guys, you're welcome to Parenting with Dumibi. If you see me for the first time, you're highly welcome. And if you've always been following me on this journey to becoming a better parent, I celebrate it today and I know you are in the right place. So very quickly today, I'll be sharing with you my real life experience with my daughter, Omani Bay. So last week, I think it was on a Tuesday. So I asked her during breakfast, what do you want for breakfast? I'd like you to note the phrase, what do you want? And she said, porridge. I went ahead prepared her porridge and I gave it to her. At the sight of it, guess what she said? No, no, mommy. I don't want porridge anymore. I want Cocoa Pops. And I said, but you asked me, I asked you what do you want? You said porridge and I made it for you. This is your porridge. You, so I expect you to eat it. At that point, she said, no, mommy, I want Cocoa Pops. Guess what? She started crying. She was crying seriously. And you know what children are like when it comes to all of these things? She was just then in my head. I was just thinking, why would she be crying when she's the one that asked me to make her porridge and now i've made her porridge but why is she crying i did not even smack her i didn't yell at her why is she crying i was thinking should i go ahead and give her the cocoa pops or should i just leave her after all she asked me to make her porridge or should i just leave her and let her go to school like that you know while i was thinking about all of these things what should i do what should i not do how do i manage this situation it just dawned on me that it was my fault it was my fault in the sense that I asked the wrong question, what do you want? You know, asking a child this question, what do you want, is such a big question for a child to answer. At the point I realized it was my fault, guess what I did? I went back, made her Cocoa Pops, gave it to her. She ate everything all off. You know, she was happy, we went to school. So during my reflection, like, remember I always talk about the power of reflection. So while I was reflecting on what happened, why it happened and all of that, so I was able to come up with some ideas of what I'll be doing after that incident. And this was where I got it wrong. Like I said, I asked her, what do you want? Instead of giving her options within limits, I should have presented to her based on what I have. Mama, there's Cocoa Pops, there's Porridge, there's Witterbeet. You choose, it's your choice. You know, giving her that options within my limits, not her limits. Because if I say, what do you want? What if she tells me, mommy, I want rice scripts and I don't have rice scripts at home, what would I do? So that is why it's important to always ask the child options within limits, within your own boundary, within what you know you have or you could afford. Giving her that options within limits was what I would have done. And then she would choose from what I have presented to her. So it will be her choice to make her decision. And then giving her that power or giving her that ability to choose what she wants or to make her own choices and decisions based on my limit was me satisfying her need for what autonomy you know remember we talked about autonomy in one of our videos after that incident this is what i started doing giving her options within my limits instead of saying what do you want again i just give her options and the options i give her is mass is three options giving a child more than three at most two three is is okay for a child in other words, they'll get confused. After option within limit, the next thing I do is I make my limit clear to her by saying, Oma, are you really sure you want Cocoa Pops? If she says, I say, well, I'm going to prepare it now and I'll expect you to eat it when it's ready. Are you really, really sure? And sometimes I make a joke out of it. Like I just turn it to it. Are you really, 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 really sure? Because I'm going to make it. Are you sure you will eat it once I make it? I will want you to eat it. You know, and she'll say, yes, 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 yes. Can you make it, make it, make it for me? So we just, I just turn into, just for me to be sure that, yes, that's what she wants. Because the truth, and then when I'm saying, are you really sure you want it? Because I'm going to prepare it. And once I prepare it, I'll expect you to eat it. And if you don't eat it, I'm not going to go back again to get you something else. So me making my limits clear is me helping her take responsibility for the choices and the decisions she had made for herself, you know, and also helping her to understand that if she decides not to have it after I have made it, there will be consequences. And the consequence will be, because I already stated clear to her, and the consequence will be, I'm not going back to make her something else again. So if she chooses not to eat it, it will be her choice. The consequence will be, she'll have nothing to eat, and that will be her choice. That will be her problem. 
So stating it clear is very important. And the next thing I do is I use empathy. It's a very powerful tool parents can use to connect with their children and to get cooperation from their children. So how do I use it? I use it like this. I say, hmm, Mama, did you say you want Cocoa Pops? And she'll say yes. I said, hmm, do you know when I was a child, Dad used to buy me this a Cocoa Pops and I used to eat it loads of time and it used to be yum, 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 yum. I used to enjoy it and all of that, you know? Cocoa Pop is very, very yummy. I used to love it then and I know you're going to enjoy it. Me saying it like this is me helping her to reinforce her own choices and decisions and also helping her to feel good about the choices and the decisions she had made for herself you know just as we adults you know sometimes maybe you're at the shop you're buying some clothes you're at the fitting room or changing room you're just testing it and someone just walk up from behind and say oh you look beautiful on that how does that make you feel? Sometimes even if you didn't want to take it, just because someone has affirmed that you look good on it, you just go make payments and, and take it. You know, it makes you feel good that someone is liking what you have. You know, it makes you feel good, isn't it? Same thing is applicable to children. So it makes them feel good. It makes them accept their decisions. And it makes you as a parent reinforce that decision that they have made for themselves. So the incident happened on Tuesday since Wednesday morning till today's or today's Wednesday. A week today now we've never had any issue any fight on what to eat and what not to eat you know it's it's been working you know this strategy is so powerful it's been working for me and we've been fine and all of that so dear parents i'm sharing it to let you know that children of these days sometimes they can confuse us you know and you know imagine a child telling me do this and i i want this and i prepared it for her and she's telling me she doesn't want it again it can be very frustrating and annoying isn't it and if we are not intentional it can lead us to yelling at a child you know use a wrong approach and all of that but the truth is that's why i always emphasize on the importance of you know intentionality if you're intentional in your parenting you have the right knowledge you have the right technique because the truth is different techniques work for different situations you know so knowing the right technique to use at every point in time is very important and how do you know it you know it through knowledge through you know through videos like this you know so i hope and i believe you have learned something so i'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about my approach do you think it was good what would you have done if you were in my shoes please leave all your thoughts down in the comment section i'd like you to please share this video and like it and also remember to turn your notification button on so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first to see it if you've been following me or if you've been watching my videos and you have not subscribed what are you still waiting for please hit that subscribe button now and my next video i look forward to seeing you bye bye mm.